The Packers getting ready to head over to England for their matchup with the Giants on Sunday. But CBS 58 is already there. We're the only Milwaukee TV station in London. Anchor Jessup Reisbeck gives us a recap of his journey across the pond. We just touched down here in London, making the trip across the pond from Milwaukee for the Packers' first ever regular season game outside the United States. But how did we get here? Check it out. Are you guys going to miss me when I'm in London? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. What? <laughs> Bags packed, car loaded. Here we go. Mitchell International, the first stop. And how's this for some hometown travel luck? They let me slide with a half pound too heavy of a suitcase, and we took off early, landing in Toronto a little after noon East Coast time. The first leg complete. After a busy Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, about an hour, hour and a half flight from Milwaukee, welcome to Toronto. We're gonna spend about five hours in this airport and then we're headed to London. Despite a short delay in our departure, we were wheels up from Canada around 7.30 p.m. Next stop, London. A few movies, a few naps, if you can call them that, and a few snacks, and just like that, wheels down at Heathrow Airport at 6.30 a.m. London time, 12.30 a.m. Milwaukee time. And now, it's game on. So there you have it, about seven or eight hours on airplanes, about seven or eight hours in airports, and a couple hours on the road driving. We do want to warn you, if you are coming to London for the Packers game or for any reason, be ready for some pretty nasty traffic. Our hotel was 17 miles from the airport. It took us well over two hours to get there. But all that's in the past now. The important thing is we are here in London. We could not be happier to bring you the sights, sounds, fun, and football coming up on Sunday with the Packers and Giants, the only Milwaukee TV station in London, England. Reporting from London, I'm Jessup Reisbeck, CBS 58 News, back to you. No, he'll have a lot of fun over there, and you can stay with CBS 58 today and throughout the weekend for Jessup's coverage from London, and you'll also find it on our website, cbs58.com. Jessup Reisbeck here on the streets of London, the only Milwaukee TV station here, traveling, of course, to see the Packers and Giants. That right there is the epitome of London, right? The old double-decker red bus. Hey, get this, we met our first outwardly showing Packers fans and family. We met the Haynes family from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, staying in the hotel with us. This is the trip of a lifetime. It's a beautiful thing. It was Mason, Jess, and Christine. We talked to them. They are jacked, just like tens of thousands of Packers fans. It is Thursday right now. We have multiple days getting ready, getting hyped for Packers and Giants. The first time the Packers have ever played anywhere outside the United States in a regular season contest. We will have all the sights, sounds, fun, and football leading up to game time each and every day here from London. We are so happy to have you along with us. Get ready for the ride. Much more coming up in all of our newscasts, all of our social media, and on our website all the time, cbs58.com. For now though, send it back to studio. Morning, Milwaukee. Good afternoon here from London, England. Just afternoon here across the pond and uh, a beautiful Friday. Happy Friday to you. We've had an awesome time so far. When it first came out that the Giants and Packers were playing overseas at Tottenham Stadium, a lot of Americans mispronounced Tottenham Stadium, right? Tottenham is right. Tottenham, not correct. Now we do mispronounce other things over here like Leicester Square. Edinburgh. Those are not right either. But it got me thinking, how, what do people over here mispronounce? How would they pronounce some of our tougher to pronounce hometowns? And I wanted to test their Packers knowledge a little bit. So one way to do that, you hit the streets, you talk to them, and you see what you find out. Now at first, it was a little tough sledding asking about our American quiz, but don't you worry, they warmed up to us. Talk to you, interview. Can we talk to you? Interview? Hey, can we talk to you? Anybody? If I give you some names of cities, do you think you can say them? Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Manamoni Falls. <laughs> good, close, good, good. Oh, what is it? What is Indian American people? Exactly, Native American a lot. Menominee Falls? Well, it's not funny if you're perfect. Oh. <laughs> Money taco. Taco. Uh, like taco Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what taco Tuesday? Yeah. I'm not doing it with this one. No. Money talk. Money talk. 
Both? Very close. Manitowoc. 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 Emphasis From Boston? Okay. Wabatosa. You're good at the VW. Is it? Wawatosa. Wawatosa. Yeah. Now, this is actually a person. He plays for the Packers. Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. Oh, close. Do we know who this guy is? Who? Nah, who is Aaron this? Aaron Rodgers? Nah. Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. Humbling. Who are you? Eric, if you're watching, this is humbling. He's the, he's the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I can tell you everything about Arsenal. <laughs> and they genuinely did not know who Aaron Rodgers was. Obviously, thousands of people over here do. Those three people that we talked to, probably not going to the game, right? But like we said, thousands of locals here in London and really all around the UK will be going to Tottenham Stadium on Sunday. And we here at CBS 58, so happy to bring it to you. Uh, we are gonna have much more, of course, all day leading up to today, Friday and Saturday before that game uh, Sunday. We are so happy to be the only Milwaukee TV station here. Much more coming up on all of our CBS 58 newscasts on air and online and, of course, social media as well. For now, I'll send it back to you, reporting live in a beautiful London, England, ahead of the Packers and Giants. I'm Jesse Reisbeck. I'm from Mexico, but I'm living in California. My dad came to the U.S. to play baseball. And it was and a baseball I hat that started this baseball. boy from Mexico's love for the Packers. He bought me a Green Bay Packers hat. And I say, Green Bay Packers had. I say, I don't know what, what, which team is that one. But that would soon change. Back in the 90s, when, you know, Green Bay wasn't a good team, but, uh, and then we got Brett Favre and then Reggie White. And I said, oh, man, uh, that's a good team now. After that good team beat the Patriots in Super Bowl 31, he was hooked. This is my team, my real team for my dad. Thank you, my dad. You know, my dad passed away in 2007. 15 years after his dad's passing, Reggie's in London to watch their team. Well, the Packers is a long, long uh, history, and but they never play uh, official game out of the States. And I say, when they Green Bay Packers fan is going to play overseas, I'm going. London's great and all, but not the ultimate destination for this Packers fan. What would it mean for you for the Packers to play in Mexico sometime? I'm going. I'm going, definitely. Mexico City, big, a big stadium, big city. Yeah, I'm going to. All right, one thing we're learning now that Jessup Reisbeck is covering the Packers fans in London is that there are no real boundaries for Packers fans. No, it turns out there are green and gold diehards in countries you might never expect. And Jessup, of course, met some of them today. Jessup Reisbeck here, yes, in London, England. We are now at Piccadilly Circus, of course, London's version of Times Square, if you will. It is a beautiful place, and we found a beautiful family. This is the Schroeder family from Germany, here for, of course, the Packers game. Yeah. Introduce yourselves, please, real quick. Um, I'm Johan, 17 years old. Awesome. I'm Jovis, 20. Awesome. Mom? I am Ute. Hello. And Stefan. Awesome. No. All right. And you had this is this is where it even gets cooler for us being Milwaukeeans. The reason you guys are Packers fan is because why? Because my older brother, he went for one year as an exchange student to the US to Milwaukee and there he became a Packers fan. That's awesome. So since five years we are now Packers fans, oh. like uh, watching every game, standing up at two AM in the morning every week. Oh, man. And this yeah. is your first time seeing a Packers game in person? Yeah, it is. It How is excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> and Dad, you've you've kind of hopped on too. You're a big Packers fan now that yeah. all this sun was there in Milwaukee. I also ha I had an exchange here when I was uh, 20 or no no 16, 17, something okay. like that. And yeah, so we always uh, watch the games at night. And now we're it's pretty easy for us because it's like daytime and it's gonna be very easy because sometimes it's hard to to, to wake up or get up at two in the morning uh, watching the game, but. We always and do. work in the next uh, Yeah, working day, the next, so. the, the, the same morning. <laughs> so you guys, you had an exchange student yeah. years ago that was a Packers fan, and then your son went to Milwaukee and became a Packers fan, and now you guys are Packers, green and gold all the way. Yeah. Go Pack Go. <laughs> How excited go, are go. you? Too excited, really. Yeah. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> well, Schroeder family, thank you so much for stopping by. This is too, too good. How awesome is that? The experiences just keep rolling in here in London. The hometown fans are now German fans or German fans are now our hometown fans. I don't know, whatever it is, it is awesome. So glad to be here, guys. Good luck. So nice meeting you. We'll send it back to you.
Well, CBS 58's Jessa Bryce Beck continues his trip following the Green Bay Packers to London. He has been meeting with a lot of diehard fans, and tonight we find him at one of the city's most iconic locations. Good evening from London, England. It was a month ago Saturday that this country lost its queen. So, of course, we had to go see the royal residence, experience it, see what it's all about. And when we got there, turns out there were a lot of Packers fans doing the exact same thing. We wanted to come by and pay our respects and go we'll see, see what the palace looked like. And, uh, you know, I've been here before, but not in, this, uh, not in this atmosphere, so it was pretty exciting. I have never been to this part of London before, and I was hoping to see the changing of the guards, which we did catch a little bit of. So it's, it's been a really cool experience. You know, the Queen's passing just happened, so I feel like even though we're from... California or, you know, the United States, it's, it's still like touches everyone. It's the royal residence behind the gates, but in front of it, it looked like a Packers playland at times. My friends are half New York Giants, and then uh, I'm obviously with the Packers, and then, you know, worlds collided, and uh, we spent the money to come over here and watch, uh, watch the two rival teams go at it. A Packers fan among Giants fans is great. But a Packers fan that's born and raised in Giants country Packers is even fan. sweeter. Packers fans don't throw away from Giants Stadium, and I throw rocks every time. Throwing the rock is something Aaron Rodgers is famous for, and something every Packers fan inside Tottenham Stadium on Sunday wants to see him do a lot. The guy throws dots. He's good. There's no excuse why we shouldn't be winning big. We've been playing half games the past three games. We got to put a full game together. Your goals or your hopes or your dreams for Sunday's kind of outcome in the game? Oh, an absolute smoke show. And, uh, and uh, Aaron Rodgers throws for four TDs. It was a great day here in London, England. We saw Buckingham Palace. We saw, of course, Piccadilly Circus. And we now get to experience a little London rain. You got to, right? You know what's not going to stop Packers fans from showing up at Tottenham Stadium on Sunday? Any kind of weather. Kickoff set for 2.30 local time here in London, 8.30 a.m. in Milwaukee. We, of course, will have it all covered for you leading up. The only Milwaukee TV station here across the pond. Reporting from Piccadilly Circus, I'm Jessa Breisbeck. Send it back to you. We are less than 12 hours away from the kickoff of Packers versus Giants in London. CBS 58, the only Milwaukee station with a crew in London. Earlier today, hundreds of Packers fans from around the globe filled Belushi's Bar in London for a pep rally. CBS 58's Jessup Ricebeck talked to some hometown fans about their experience across the pond. Welcome back to London, England, more specifically Belushi's Bar here, their London Bridge location. This is home to the Packers pep rally this weekend. It wasn't supposed to open till noon. We got here at about 11.15 and the place was already crawling with Packers fans. This line stretches all the way down the block and then around the block. It was madness. Once again, we've said it once, we'll say it again, Packers fans never cease to amaze us. Uh, even in London, do the Bears still suck? <laughs> It was like stadium view in Green Bay. We brought our cousins here. They, they think they thought we were nuts coming over, and then we said, "You got to see why we came over." And now they know it. Troy and his brother Scott made the trip across the pond from Southeast Wisconsin to visit family and see the Packers. Does this surprise you at all when you're? Uh, not at all. No, we've been all over the country. It, it surprised me in London. It's this big, but. Uh, <laughs> It doesn't surprise me. Packer fans are everywhere. <laughs> Former Packers James Jones, Hall of Famer Leroy Butler, Nick Collins, Marv Fleming. We traveled over Thursday night. Along with Packers president and CEO Mark Murphy, stopping by to address the sea of green and gold. And there is no other team or fans like them in the world. I, don't, I really don't care what you talk about. I don't care if you talk about soccer. I don't care if you talk about American football. I mean, the way they support, I mean, it never ceases to amaze me. The crowd here was great. and. Being in London now for a few days, well, I, I, don't, I haven't seen many Giants fans. I'll just say that. I've seen a lot of Packer fans. We uh, got to do a lot of stuff. Bart Gendy is another one of them. From Milwaukee, named after Bart Starr. It was Ed Arnold Palmer, and luckily Bart Starr won. <laughs> you have no choice, really, to be a Packer fan. True. Well, if you can believe it, the reason why all these people are in London now just hours away. Packers, Giants from Tottenham Stadium, Sunday, 8.30 a.m. Milwaukee time, 2.30 p.m. here local time in London. It is going to be awesome. Reporting from London, England, Jessa Breisbeck, CBS 58 News. Back to London, England. We are just outside of Belushi's on London Bridge. 
at the biggest pep rally I've ever been to. Packers, Giants getting ready tomorrow, and we are with the one and only, the now current Hall of Famer, Leroy Butler. Yeah. Leroy, thanks for being here, man. There's two people I'm looking for, Steve Pallack, <laughs> which I don't know where he is. I'm looking for Charlie Barons. I've seen all my other friends. So until I find those two people, I still will be searching for something. But I will say this, going to Abbey Road and they stopped traffic to get this photo was platinum. That's when I almost felt like I'm famous <laughs> because I heard somebody in the UK yell my name, not Leroy, but Leroy. That's the kind of history that I was looking forward to. And this pep rally today, Leroy, uh, do the Packers fan and Packers nation ever cease to amaze you? Well, you know, really in training camp, I do a lot of Packer tours. We see fans from all over, the UK, Europe, everywhere. But to come to their home turf, to visit them, and to do that with your fans is emotional. Because we don't really call them fans, we call them owners. But And be the last team internationally to come. So it was worth the wait to me because the fans are just so great, man. They're just so great, because that's what we live for. We live for that G, which stands for greatness. But without our fans, there would be no Lambo Leap. Is this your first ever uh, interview in a uh, back alley in London, England? With one of my best <laughs> friends like you? Yes. Because <laughs> normally we, people don't know we're like really good friends. But yes, it was great to see you. Uh, you it was great to see people at home. Yeah. We'll be home safe, hopefully with a Packer win. My prediction for the score real quick. Yeah, do it. 21-17 Packers win. 21-17 yeah. Packers win. That game. Don't edit that out. <laughs> we will not. Trust right. me. We never edit out a Hall you. of Famer. 21-17 yeah. is the prediction. Game, of course, tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. London time, 2.30 p.m. Wait, I got that backwards, Leroy. Where were we on that one? 8.30 a.m. Milwaukee time, 2.30 p.m. right here in London. We appreciate you being there. Leroy, thank you for your time. Check out the shoes before we let you go. Yeah, look, look at the shoe. Look at the shoe. We'll leave it right there. All right, now it's time for our coverage of the Green Bay Packers versus the New York Giants happening, of course, in London today. We've got CBS 58's Jessup Bryce back. He's been there all week for us, soaking in all that Packers love. Hey, Jessup, how's it looking out there? Well, back. It is finally the day that tens of thousands of people have come to Tottenham Stadium for. It is game day. Yes, we just arrived, just got off the media bus. It is awesome. All these people right here from Milwaukee area. This is amazing. I mean, just look around, a sea of people. And as we are here for literally five minutes, Milwaukee people come up. What, what's your name? I'm Deanne. Deanne? Don. Don. Linda. Linda. Philip. Philip. Yeah. Green. You guys Greendale. are Greendale, Greendale and Milwaukee. Yeah. Hey. How excited are you to be here in London for the Packers? Yes, very much excited. It's an awesome trip so far. Everything's been great. Hospitality is excellent, and we're gonna kick some butt today. Yeah. yeah watch your mouth, Ron. Yeah, 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 I know. That's why I said. <laughs> good catch. Good catch. I love what how. I love how London has embraced the Packers, though. Yeah. So, but I hope the Packers are going to win, of course. Exactly. Yes, right. go Pack. Um, just loving the game. You know, the first time over here in London. So, I'm going to see the game. Packers all the way, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and this is uh, not an unusual sentiment. The whole time we've been here since Thursday morning, Wisconsin people, East Wisconsin people, people from Germany, all over the world, I am telling you, are here in London for the Packers Giants and it is finally game day. What time is it? Let me check. 12.15. That means we're two hours and 15 minutes away from game day. We got a Giants fan dancing in. That's okay. That's okay. Let the rivalry begin. So far, nothing but uh, awesome times. We've been here for 10 minutes and already loving, loving game day. Again, kickoff set for 8.30 a.m. Milwaukee time, 2.30 p.m. here in London. We will have you covered all throughout. We will see you later on in the newscast. Much more from Tottenham Stadium. Oh, yeah. Go, Pack, go. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Looking like a lot of fun. Hey, Tajma, yes, it is game day here in London, England. Just behind there, that way, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The one billion, there you go, Pack, go. Go, Pack, go. 
Go pack, go. I know this guy. I know this guy. You know, where you? Go pack, go. Go pack, go. Where are you from? Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Oh, man, thanks for having us. Go pack, go. In the word of my photographer, Jerry Immig, this is bananas. It, it really, <laughs> go pack, go, baby. Go, back, go. Uh, it has been amazing. It still is amazing. The game now, uh, what, just about an hour and a half away, 2.30 local time, 8.30 a.m. Milwaukee time. It is so fun out here. Go pack, go, baby. Go pack, go. Go pack, go. Go pack, go. Go, pack, go everywhere. Go so many. Go. <laughs> We're from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix. Oh. Phoenix coming. To this is like Phoenix, Phoenix weather. Phoenix. It's like Phoenix oh, weather. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. But we're having an awesome time out here, as you can probably tell. We are so happy to be here. That game is coming up. How much time, Spencer? If I got time to fill, I can fill it. Talk to me, baby. Spencer, how long do you want? 1.30. Oh, my gosh. I got tons of time. Let's roll. Come on. What's up, fellas? Where are you from? Liverpool. 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 Yeah. Okay, how come you're Packer fans? And a Bucks. Oh, you see this? Oh, man, I love it. How'd you become Bucks and Packers fans? Um, I was a Bucks fan when I was about 12. Brandon Jennings. Okay. Back then. That's, that's, what made me a, that's what made me a Bucks fan. That's awesome. Brandon Jennings. And how'd you become a uh, Packers fan? Madden. Madden, Madden football? Yeah. Video games? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Randomed it. Got the Packers okay. ever since. <laughs> Years. Yeah. And what about you? Tom Brady, of course. <laughs> Get the camera yeah, that way. Yeah, no, I'm, just yeah, no. I'm just kidding. Guys, go pack, go. Have a fun time. Yes, London represent. Oh, well, let's look at this. Come on. Sir, go pack, go. Go pack, go. How are you? Where are you from? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. The people are everywhere here. Yep. What brought you uh, What brought you to Little I guess not what brought you. The Packers did. But why come all the way from North Carolina? I love the Packers. I'm a season ticket holder. I grew up in Upper Michigan, but I retired North Carolina. I was in the Marine Corps for 27 years, and uh, I follow the Packers everywhere. Awesome. Well, thank you for your service. Thank go you. Pack Go. Hurrah. Beautiful. Appreciate it. Let's go check with... This guy, it is not hard to find Packers fans. This is unbelievable. How are you, sir? Where are you from? Uh, originally Norwich. Norwich. Yeah. I'm they are from everywhere. Yeah. How'd you become a Packers fan? Uh, I watched the my first Super Bowl was when they played the um, Pittsburgh Steelers, yeah. and a friend of my uh, a friend of mine, his dad told me that the Steelers were the favourites, so I instantly went for the underdogs. Um, they're also yellow and green, which is Norwich, my team. There, okay. there. They play in yellow and green football soccer team for you guys, obviously. Um, and first NFL game today, I'm absolutely buzzing. So, yeah, really looking forward to this one. Man, thank you so much. No Appreciate your time. Go Pack, go. <laughs> Good luck. Good. You have to. You have to. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah, see, they are really, you can see all teams represented here. This is kind of a celebration of not only the Packers and Giants, but NFL football. It is awesome out here. Game time coming up. We will have you covered throughout. We'll send it back to you. Jessa Bryce Beck here in London, England, of course, on the turf of Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, site of Giants and Packers this afternoon. Yes, it was not the outcome we wanted, but after months and months of anticipation, remember this game was announced back in May, tickets went on sale in July, it was finally here, thousands and thousands of fans made the trip, and they will tell you it was still worth it. Go Pack Go! Would you do it all over again, spend all the money, take all the time to fly over from Milwaukee and do this again? 100%. This has been an amazing island to visit. It's been awesome. Couldn't, couldn't ask for more. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. It's electric. London, London loves it. Yes. More of it, please. <laughs> absolutely. We'll have to win next time. We'll win next time, though, right? It was pretty cool to hear the Go Pack Go, man. I'm a little upset we let them down, you know. We definitely could have played better, but like I say, it's, it's a learning lesson. Make the corrections and keep going. Uh, it was amazing. You know, I felt like it was a, a Packer takeover. Uh, you could definitely hear the fans. They came from all over, so uh, we're very appreciative of them. Sorry we couldn't get the, the win for you guys, but we really do appreciate you guys coming out and supporting us. Look, everyone we talked to after the game said no matter what, win or lose, they would make this trip to London again. David Bakhtiari did say that if he plays overseas again, he does hope they have a little more time to adjust to the jet lag. That wraps it up here in London, England for us. It was a magical week. We appreciate you following along online, on air, and on social media. We were honored and pleased to bring it all to you. Reporting from London, England, Tottenham Stadium, here across the pond, I'm Jessa Reisbeck, CBS 58 News.
For Packers fans who made the trip from Wisconsin and for international fans, the loss stings, but the experience still a memorable one. CBS 58, the only Milwaukee station with a crew in London, just so but Ricebeck caught up with fans and players after the game. Go Pack Go. You see it on the sign there. We are down on the field in Tottenham Stadium. Welcome back to London, England. Of course, not the result the Packers wanted on this field today, but we talked to all the fans and all the players, and it doesn't matter. This place sounded like Lambo here in London so often in that game and before it. Go Pack Go! It's the feel of Lambo. But in London. We're just so excited and just the energy here is amazing. Finally the time has come. We've been waiting for this for months really and it's here. I hope it is an absolute annihilation of the Giants and that it's not even close. That hope seemed possible halfway through the game. The pack was up 2010 at the break and fans were feeling good. This is my first time in an NFL game, so for me it's magical. <laughs> and I, I love that they are winning. The feel out, out there with the fans and stuff reminds me of Lambo. So, and I was talking to a couple other people and they said, yeah, some of the stuff was brought in to make it like Lambo Field. So I'm going like, maybe we'll just call it Lambo UK. Unfortunately, the second half, it was more like MetLife UK because the Giants owned it, scoring on five straight possessions, leaving Packers fans frustrated and defeated, but still impressed by the experience. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, well, the what about seat in the house, everyone was buzzing. Big shout out to all the fans to come over, man. It was pretty cool to hear the Go Pack Go, man. I'm a little upset we let them down, you know. We definitely could have played better, but like I say, it's, it's a learning lesson. Make the corrections and keep going. It was a great atmosphere. Um, the fans, the energy um, since we've been here has been great. Um, it, it was a really cool experience to be able to come over here and play and uh, get to experience a different culture and, and see their love and passion for the game. Uh, I, I just wish it ended a little differently. Well, that wraps up what was just a magical, amazing week here in London, England for us here at CBS 58. Of course, not the result that the Packers wanted, but we were honored and pleased to bring you all the action on air and online and, of course, on social media. We thank you for coming along for the ride. Go Pack Go. I'm Jessa Breisbeck reporting from Tottenham Stadium here in London, England. Back to you.